you know that this guy is over 40 before I even do anything. Uh, this is someone called The Loftus Party. Never heard about that in my life. But he is saying, he is saying that, let me just, re- <laughs> if you don't know, okay, maybe you need, you're, I'm a jock, you're not, so maybe you need a little bit more uh, background on this. Let me show you this. So this is uh, some dude named The Loftus Party. No one knows about him. Um, uh, this is a baseball thing. Now, the story here is that the uh, Cleveland baseball team was formerly known as the Indians, which is, of course, an inaccurate and uh, a relatively offensive uh, uh, term that you could use for a Native American person, especially at this point in time. We this is like it's like just a, such a misnomer. Um, uh, but the Cleveland uh, baseball team has changed their name to the Cleveland Guardians. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second, but, uh, what, I guess the, the initial context you need is that this guy thinks this is cancel culture. Cancel culture is added again. Now the Cleveland Indians have changed their name to the Cleveland Guardians. Comedian Michael Loftus, he's a comedian, wow, uh, has some thoughts on the name change. Mainly this, Cleveland Guardians suck. Okay. Let's see. Are you a mosquito, sir? Sir, are you a mosquito? All right, if you're a mosquito, I'm going to have to attack with ferocity. All right, so uh, there's this guy. He, he fancies himself a comedian, which is a choice that you can make. Ho's, Ho's definitely mad right now. So this guy's, this guy's big mad. Uh, uh, is he going to play the trailer at all? Let me do this. Let me start, let me start you off by playing the trailer for this. Um, because I think, it's, I think it's important to watch the actual trailer. And just to hear, like, sort of the thesis behind, uh, um, behind their, their whole thing, I suppose. Um, sports, the game with the ball and the stick. Yeah, this one's definitely the ball and the stick. Um, so this is, they posted this on Twitter. Um, they haven't changed their Twitter handle yet because I'm assuming the, uh, we are- I'm assuming the, um, uh, like Twitter has a, uh, problem with that but like it's probably a little slow so here's the 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 cleveland baseball teams uh, and i'll put it on the big screen for you so you can see a little bit better um uh actually fuck it who cares who gives a shit you earned this uh this is uh cleveland baseball team uh tom hanks is actually uh the narrator for this so this is their two minute sort of thesis on why they're changing the name and stuff we are a city on the rise Forging into the future from our ironed out past. The black keys are going to happen at some point, and I'm going to have to turn it down. We are a city of fire and water. Wait, actually, just a note for the editor. uh, This might get flagged, so uh, just cut it and and add a link, probably, for YouTube purposes. Probably. 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 Uh, Love is the answer. Thanks for following. Trees and towers built through generations of these are important to the story here. The brightest scholars. And all of those who have worked harder. We hold tight to our roots and set our sights on tomorrow. And this is our team that has stood with our city for more than a century, from Old Municipal to the corner of Carnegie. A team that has seen its own progress and prosperity. Its history flows like the river through the heart of this city. The history that has given us miraculous moments Moments that spanned years this is fine, and others right? 22 games. Moments that broke barriers and moments that broke hearts. Moments that prove this is more than a game. We remember those moments as we move forward with change. What a good fucking, what a good fucking message. We remember those moments. Yes, they are part of our history, but we're moving forward because times change and we're changing the world changes and we're just adapting to those times and making sure that not only is our team not offending anybody but it's marketable because it's a business <laughs> you see it is only like capitalists should have no problem with this cleveland thing. that's the best part of our name These are uh, statues uh, on the... uh, I forget the name of the bridge already. Um, 
This bridge leads into Cleveland right next to the ballpark. Obviously, these are Guardians. The, the, the team is named after these statues, these cool things right here. Um, it's sort of an icon- iconic landmark if you've ever been to Cleveland. And I've been to Cleveland. Uh, it's pretty hard not to for ha- to have these stand out. This is like this is like straight up like 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 uh, uh, Batman the animated series Gotham style statues. These are cool as fuck. So it's 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 part of the it's part we of the name. Come together page. and welcome all who want to join us. We are loyal and proud and resilient. We protect what we've earned and always defend it. I don't hate this. It doesn't look terrible. It's not a terrible. It's not a look. It's not. It's not as good as something else, probably. But it means something to the city, and that's all that really matters. You know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, yeah. Your destiny jokes are, are there. I'm gonna turn this down because um, at this point, it's just gonna be the Black Keys song. Uh, but they are gonna do some logo reveal stuff, which I think is is cool. So. Um, there's a Guardian stuff, uh, uh, they're just showing a bunch of basically their different logo layouts, uh, for their merch, if you're interested in something like that. I think this is part of it. I think that C looks really good. I like this C right here. Um, if, if you guys know anything about baseball teams, and I mean, like, you're all, you're all roughly, even if you're nerds and you're not jocks, uh, uh, you've seen baseball stuff. Uh, usually it's like, like, just a little logo or something on a hat. This is kind of like that. Why they call themselves that in the first place? I have a story for it, and the guy's gonna bring it up. So, um, this is the logo that a lot of people don't like. It's a little. This is. Hold on, I thought I was gonna pause. This is a little. It's like a refined '90s logo, in my opinion. I actually don't hate this. I get it if you don't. This is a big change from when they what they had, but I don't really hate. I don't really hate how this looks. Like that looks good on on some fabric. I think I think that that's gonna be a good looking team. Anyway, so uh, that's that. Um, and this guy is this guy is big mad. He, he's gonna bring up. He's gonna bring up why it was named something like like the Indians, uh, uh, which I'm gonna end up not saying uh, after that. That's the last time I think I'm gonna say it, um, just because I, it makes me uncomfortable. But uh, even though it was their name. Um, the uh uh this guy's dumb anyway everybody else was making like uh i don't know really long-winded videos this one's four minutes and he 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 at least up front seemed to nail all the things i was going to talk about anyway so we'll talk about it how's it going everybody my name's michael and i'm from the loftestparty.com i hope you're having a good one that is a personality what if I was? What if I was like that, guys? What if every time we turn it on, I'm like, "Welcome to the corn stream. I hope you're having a good time." Bam, bam, bam. Welcome to Jake and the cornfield. You're not a. It's not. Come on. You're weird. You're strange. You're strange and weird. We got breaking news for you. This just in from our. It's so stupid that it really, really sucks department. Oh. Cancel cultures one again. This is uh, the the baseball team got canceled. Chat. This time, the victim is the Cleveland Indians. Yeah. The victim. Yeah, that name. It's just too offensive. It has to go. It has to go. Cleveland Indians. Ow, 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 ow. I don't even want to hear it. Who knows how many people, when they heard the words Cleveland Indians, their lives were just wrecked. <laughs> it's always white guys. It's like always white guys who start this shit. It's like, yeah, it might not bother people like to the same degree as like, I don't know, a life tragedy, dude. But like, it's just another one of those little things that dehumanizes you over time. Do do you know that (laughs) their fucking logo? Is he going to show Chief Wahoo at any point during this? Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm scrubbing real quick. No, he's not. Okay, wonder why. Wonder why. So, I'm going to show you... Uh, uh, technically, this is pretty racist, so... Uh, you're just going to... You're going to see it. And... 
It is what it is. Um, it's old timey though. It's nothing that's gonna shock you. Uh, yeah, come on, dude. Like, come on. Literally red skin. Like, come on. They've since they they discontinued this a few years ago. They stopped doing this because obviously fucking yikes, right? Um, that was uh, several years ago. And but uh, uh, you know, people that look like this guy. Uh, uh, you know, little, he got a little sun. He turned red immediately. Um, he, uh, he, uh, he's upset. He's spaghetti, just like, uh, just like other white dudes. Ramble was just a gorilla. Uh, flu fanatic. Thanks for following. Completely destroyed. Never to be the same. So they had to change the name. They had to to save lives. I don't know why a change. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know why a change has to be, like, so fucking bad for them. <laughs> so, I, I, the Washington football team, uh, uh, will change. The, the Atlanta Braves need to change as well. Uh, Silver Rosestone, thanks for the 300 biddies. First timer. Team ownership announced the new name. Here's what they went with. The Cleveland Guardians. Huh? Huh? The Cleveland Guardians. It sucks. That is a lot of suck. The Cleveland Guardians? That might be a ton of suck. It is this... I thought he said he was a comedian. <laughs> Why does this guy suck so much? This guy sucks. This guy might be a ton of suck. Like, what? What? It looks fine. I have no problem with this. If you don't, if you don't like it, you don't like it. What's? Is it better though? Is is the alternative better? I don't think In so. In fact, somebody should put it on a truck scale because I do believe it might be a metric ton of suck. Wow, he's hilarious. Who was offended by the Cleveland Indians, and what offended them the most? Was it this guy? Oh my God, he's gonna tell this story. Was it because you know who that is? Yes. That's a gentleman by the name. He had to look it up. Of Louis Sock Alexis. <laughs> okay. Are you going to tell the actual... I wonder if he's going to tell the actual story. I'm going to... I know the actual story of this. I'm going to see if this guy knows the actual story of this. Like, if he's going to be... If he's going to, uh... Uh, uh... <laughs> tell the truth here. You know who he was? He yes. was a Native American. Well, weird. Why didn't you call him something else? That's pretty interesting that you call... It's not the Cleveland Native Americans, is it? That's interesting. You called him a Cleveland Native American, but not something else. Hmm. Call, That's so strange. Why wouldn't you? It's starting to feel real now. For a while there, it felt what, surreal. So. What the fuck? It's just crazy to put this uniform back on. It feels like... Uh, what? What? Like, where am I getting that? In? Uh, Wait, you know, where the fuck is that coming from? Oh, it's and, here. You know, make, make Shut the up. bond even... Shut up. I don't care about your fucking uniform. Uh, yeah, news site autoplay. It wasn't playing earlier. Uh, I don't think he is pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. G -g 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 ghost! Um, Sock Alexis. Uh, it, it, is, it, is spelled, it is spelled like that. Um, but anyway. And most historians believe he was the first Native American mm -hmm. to play professional baseball. This is probably true. Why isn't he? Why is he saying Native American though? That's interesting. He's still saying Native American. And guess who he played for? Cleveland. Yeah. And it was so awesome. The Cleveland at the time, the name of the the Cleveland team was. Anybody know? Anybody know the name of the of the the the, the mascot name? So. He's not going to tell the story here. I'll tell the fucking story, okay? It wasn't the Caucasians. I should have worn my Caucasian sweatshirt today. Um, nope, not the goat fuckers. Uh, uh, no. Um, so, this is in the 1800s. Like, the 1880s, 1890s, I think. 1893 ish um, Baseball wasn't uniformed like it is now. It's not, it's not a... It wasn't a, like a cohesive thing. There was lots of... Uh, the Tigers... Were around, but I mean, like, like, um, you know, Brooklyn, uh, 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 you had, you had, you had teams all over the place and, um, you know, they, they weren't really, they weren't really a league yet. They were just sort of around and they would do like exhibition games for entertainment purposes. Um, so at the time the Cleveland, uh, one of you got it was named the Cleveland Spiders. Um, it was named the Cleveland Spiders, but this isn't really how they didn't really have nicknames at the time, like officially 
it was sort of sports writers that would dis- determine nicknames. And um, so, anyway, they, they got uh, 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 Sock Alexis to be, uh, which I think is uh, how, you, how you say it. Um, uh, he was a player on the team. Uh, and, uh, yeah, was an indigenous, uh, 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 person and played ball. And the sports writers at the time Good didn't like that. Dude. Elena Mayfield, oh. thank you so much for the eight months. Uh, did not miss, you didn't miss anything. Um, they did not like the idea of a, you know, Native American person being on the baseball team. It's a white people thing. Um, and so... Um, I forget the name of the manager at the time. Um, and this has been a story that has gone around for years. Um, the manager at the time was like Trudeau or so. I can't remember the name. Thibodeau, maybe. Um, something like that. Call, uh, Bones of Doom. Thanks for the four months, dude. Call. Um, and the, uh, the, uh, 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 a sports writer, because he decided the the manager, because the manager decided to have this guy be on the team, a sports writer, uh, mockingly called it, um, whatever the manager's name, let's call it Trudeau's, Trudeau's, I don't think it was, Thibodeau's, uh, 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 Thibodeau's Indians, like as a, as a, as a, as a fucking pejorative. He was making fun of them for having one single native person on the team. It ended up sticking and they were making fun of this guy to the point where the chief Wahoo logo stuck and was basically made after this guy to make fun of him. This guy didn't like that. <laughs> it's not like it's literally making fun of one specific person that played on the team in the 1800s, the late 1800s. Like what? Awesome. They named the team in his honor. Not in his honor. It wasn't on his honor. It was. It was mocking. It was mocking, and they didn't name it. A sports writer named it, and then the the crowd thought that was hilarious, like the fans of the team, and so they kept it going, and eventually they took on the moniker. And 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 frankly, the, the, this team got dissolved like two years after that, and then when Cleveland got another baseball team, they just n- renamed it this. Like, the Cleveland Indians just isn't random. It's named about this dude. It's named for Louis Sock Alexis. That's history. That's something to be celebrated, but not cancel culture. They're like, I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because my life's been ruined by the name Cleveland Indians. I don't understand why this guy with his, what is obviously a, uh, a divorce goatee. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why a guy with a divorce goatee thinks that your life has to be ruined in order to make a change in something that is bothersome. Screw you, and screw the horse you came in on. Wow, what? What? He's so fucking... Screw the horse you came... Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This guy needs AARP stat. I'm pretty sure his name is Guardian. What is a Cleveland Guardian? They're trying to convince me it's this statue on a bridge. I guess there are four of them, and they're the guardians of industry. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's. Those are famous statues. Look, he's holding on to a truck. He must be the guardian of the automotive industry, who's doing a bang up job. Does anybody associate Cleveland with the automotive industry? If I if I quizzed you right now, if I'm like name a city that you associate with the automobile industry, you'd be like, uh, Detroit. I'd be like, mm, no, close, try again. Uh, Mexico, wait a minute, I'm, I'm talking about a city, not a country. Ooh, I got it. Germany. Okay, you're not even playing right. These are jokes, guys. Dr. Quinn, thanks for following. I'm asking for cities, you're giving me countries. The correct response was Cleveland. No one would have guessed it. No one associates Cleveland with being the guardians of the automotive industry. What? Why is he so mad? And I don't even trust Cleveland to be a guardian. There's like four Quins here. Guardian of their guardian statues. My boy is rocking three fingers. You might want to guard the guardians. Who's guarding the guardians? Well, his thumb would be up here and his pinkies are right here. Are they tucked or are they broken? We don't know, dude. 
Who Good knows? Call, baby bird. Amori Miku, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, the brick wall's a stand-up reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't tell because of lack of comedy. Yeah, yeah, He's doing a... He thinks he's funny. Yeah. Here's what they're doing. They're guarding... This dude makes Amy Schumer look like a grade-A comedian. Yeah. Their bottom line. The owners of the baseball team, formerly known as the Indians, they're guarding their wallets. That's all they care about. What... What do you want them to... They're a baseball team. They're a business. It's capitalism. Capitalism's the bad guy. What? Yeah. That's the... Yes. <laughs> you're not wrong, I guess. <laughs> and if that's what you're going to do, do it full tilt boogie. Pu full tilt boogie? What? Pucker up and Puck do the old corporate butt kiss. Just call your team the Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe you can do a partnership with Dins Disney. Dinsey. I thought he was going to say something more clever there. Like, like, full tilt, but he wasn't, though. I was going to say, like, the Cleveland gays. Like, that would be an okay joke, right? Tyrannus see yours thanks for this, the, the, the gifted sub to uh, Quizixel T. Which is <laughs> boomer. <laughs> the Cleveland, the gays. Cleveland, the gays. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is just the worst, right? And then people could all dress up as characters and come out to the games. And after they sang the national anthem and all the players got up from kneeling, at least everybody could scream, "I am Groot!" And that might be a little bit of fun. But I don't think I'm gonna go to any games. I'm not really jazzed by the name the Cleveland Guardians. I think it sucks. <laughs> I'm really sorry that we were the 250th view on this chat. Sorry. I apologize. That guy's that guy's that guy's personality is rough. That guy's personality is rough. Not n <laughs> That must su imagine that's like him calling himself a comedian is like me calling myself like like an Olympian. I, why would we do this? I can't do any Olympics things. I'm going to do a hurdle. Fuck that shit. I'd pop both my hips out of place immediately. My ankles would snap off. I would just be legless. I'd have peg legs in minutes. I can't do a hurdle. Fuck that shit. That shit hurts. I did hurdles in high school a little bit. Not officially. I didn't like track and field, but I did them with my friends. And uh, not fun, dude. I play basketball. That's my shit. I can't, I can't do that Olympic shit. It's tough. That stuff's tough. I can shoot a basketball. It's much easier to me. It's much easier. Corn on the peg. Just trample the hurdles. Well, it'd trample you back. Those are not light. They, they fucking they'll get after you. Oh. Anyway, so that guy sucks. Are we surprised? Why are Chud comedians always so bad? They don't because they don't have jokes. They're not clever. They're just like, look at this, <laughs> fucking more like Cleveland Gadians. Like, stop, stop it, stop it forever, cease.